Here's the bees, they're drawing out the hive, meaning they're making the wax for the cells to put honey and eggs. This waxy stuff here is called propolis. I don't even know that we're gonna get that out. So we're just gonna open this box. Yeah, let me just. You keep videotaping while I do this. Okay, let me know. We're probably gonna need a yeah, hand. This is gonna be super that heavy. Up. Okay, so guys, these things that look like peanuts right here are where bees raise new queens. And we can see this queen cell is empty. This hive is so, oh look, an emerging queen right here. Let's see. I wish I had a queen cage. Hold on a second. Here uh -huh. she is. New queen right there. And you can see, compare her to the other bees. Look at how big she is. So this is one of the reasons why we have so many swarms happening because we have become a queen factory. again show you here is a pupa meaning the bee is past the larva stage and it was developing and this is a queen in the peanut shaped remember I said it looks like a peanut that means it's and hold, it, hold it right still they're raising a queen in there I knocked that off because we're having trouble with our bees taking off with their new queen. So we want to keep them. Here's the empty one. Whoop. Here's an empty one that the queen emerged from at the end. And you saw that on the video. And you can see I have a bee here who thinks that this is worth saving. This just flew over. So we're going to send her back over to her hive. She may come back again, but I'm going to keep these and we'll take, whoop, there's another one. <laughs> we'll take some pictures of these to show you what we've got here. So that was kind of awesome. And we were starting to have another cluster over here. These bees did not like that we put them in the hive. So they are starting to swarm again. And this is what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to keep our bees for us. We did a new hive over here with one of our swarms and we just put the other swarm in this one and then They're flying in and out now they might be accepting it i dumped a little honey in there to make it look like it was a good home 
and then this is the hive that we just went into and you can see there's three hive boxes on there because we knew that this hive was building so normally there's two this one has three and then we put the honey super on top you saw me put a screen on there that keeps the queen out of the honey box because that's what we're going to take away and get the honey mm -hmm.